Well, it took one fish, one bite to understand. Holy cow, the noodle rod craze here. Oh my gosh. And let me tell you, this noodle rod here, oh my gosh. The sensitivity. Holy cow, second to none. I got a floating handle on it. I put my thumb there. I don't have a spring bobber. I'm telling you, spring bobbers are ancient history now. That's awesome. Holy cow, the sensitivity. Oh, get in here. Get up here. Jeez, sweet. Allowing me, whoa, oh, he snapped off. I wanna show you how perfectly hooked he was. This bluegill saw him coming up and you know, use a spring bobber to detect subtle bites, but they're a bit of a pain. I mean, they're just more work, more management. I'm telling you what, spring bobber is history for now. I use my noodle rod here. Got my noodle rod from Yoder's Custom Rods. And I tell you, the other thing that's really unique about it is this handle. It calls it a floating handle. And you see, maybe a bit of a better angle here. But I can pull my, put my finger here too. And not only do I detect the, the bite here at the tip, but right there at my finger. Man, you know, you hear a lot of gimmicks, and then you get it, try it, and it doesn't work. That's legit. I felt that bite on my, on my index finger. Dang it, dang it. There you go, there he is. Oh, another slab, bluegill. Oh my gosh. Ah. Noodle riding, noodle riding, oh my gosh. Gonna feed an army. Oh, oh, ooh. we got a little, got a little something, something here. Oh, it's a bit. Oh boy, we got a big something, something here. Come on, come on. What are you? Ah, oh. three pound test line. All my gear that I'm using is in the description below. Everything from rod, reel, to fishing line and bait. Throwing a tungsten weight with a spike on it right now. Get all my gear from the same place. Clear issue of tackle. We got a big bass. We got yourselves a bass. There's my first largemouth bass of 2021. On the noodle rod. You can't get a more perfect hook set than that. And you know why I got him there? It's because I felt the bite instantaneously. Able to set the hook. Look at that. Look at that. But we gonna let him go. Let the bad boy go. We're not keeping large out. Oh, he did it. He did it. Jeez Louise. Oh, oh. Noodle rod for a, for a jumbo crappie. Oh, son. Look at that. Noodle rod be taking down the bluegill, the bass, the crappie. Oh man, he ate that deep, big old paper mouth. Whew. I'm telling you, we got a difference maker in this rod. Got my rod, it's custom made by Yoder's Custom Rods in Indiana. And uh, you can find the links to everything I'm using down below. Except you won't find these fish. <laughs> Another bruiser. Come here. Come to Big Papa. Yeah, it's such fun. Oh my gosh. Do you see that piece of a bluegill? Holy cow. Uh huh. Noodle ride. No spring bobber, just dropping it down there, bringing it up. 
You know, I ain't want to brag. Okay, maybe I am a little bit. You can see, I'm not alone. I'm not the only one here. And I have, I have caught more than anybody else I've seen. Including my friend Jim Wheeler. He's upset with me. He's upset with me because I'm out, out fishing him. I don't know what he expects, but that's just the way it is. Again. What's going on in here, Jim? I'm missing fish, boss. Well, I'm not telling. Oh, oh, oh looky there. Oh, yeah. I got How about that? Thanks for Andy Buzz to show up. Ooh, see that flash down there? That's another. <laughs> That's a decent bluegill. I mean, it's not bad, Jim. They're smaller than mine, but it's still. Look at you lazing around out here. You even got your <laughs> shoes off? I got the heater kicking. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah. Lazy man doing? fishing. Lazy man fishing. Perhaps the best ice fishing lesson I ever had was one of my first ice fishing trips with Heath Wagner many, many years ago. He took me sight fishing on a very clear lake where we could see the bluegills 12 to 50. You can see bottom 15 plus feet deep. And I remember dropping my, my bait down there as he instructed me to and a bluegill came up, sucked it in and spit it out about that fast. It's an incredible how quickly they can bite it, spit it, suck it in and spit it back out. And you can lose a lot of those bites if your rod is not sensitive enough. And that's where the noodle rod comes in handy. Come there it is. Ooh. Ooh. Godzilla. Oh. Oh, yeah. Come on, get off. Get off that. Get off that. Oh, yeah. Come here, Godzilla. Come on. Jeez, Jumbo Bluegill, Jumbo, and I'm not a small guy, wow. Floating handle allows me to hold my bait in place and just tap it with my index finger or my thumb to give it action, give it some quivering action while it sits still. The advantage of the noodle rod comes down to one big thing and that is sensitivity. It's extremely sensitive. But it is also, you get, a, you get a quality rod, it's also plenty strong. You've seen me catch big bluegill, crappie, and even bass on this rod with that, no difficulty at all. But if light bites cause challenges for you, this noodle rod is gonna help resolve that problem. Oh yeah. Work that bait about five foot off the bottom. We're sitting in seven foot of water. He come charging it. But as a nice fish as that is, I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> this the rod, baby. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. Look how beautiful. Oh. Well, all I can really say is that the noodle rod has put extra fish on the ice for me today. And I think it's going to for the remainder of this winter and many more winters to come. So if you're an avid pan fisherman through the ice, looking for a different way or a new way or a way to expand your fish catching skills or techniques or different situations, you deal with a soft bite, real soft bite, Throw down a noodle rod. All my information is down below. All my links, everything I've used today is down below. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time, we'll see you on the water.